Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those who really know me and for those who don't, welcome. My name is Michael, I'm a French guy reacting most of the time in English to music video that I'd like to share with you and some that I'd like to discover with you. And today it's a special day because, yes, um, one of my French fellow, you know, is leading uh, a really interesting and huge horror rock channel on YouTube, Fabrice, thanks, um, uh, suggested me to react to a documentary about Aurora and it's called Once Aurora. So it's a documentary that's been um, recorded um, in 2019. Um, it's been directed by Benjamin Langeland and Stian Servos, sorry for the pronunciation, and produced by Torvald Nielsen. So um, it's been rewarded by the Fit Paddock's Best Musical Documentary Reward in 2020. So um, uh, um, thanks for Torvald Nielsen for allowing me to uh, do this reaction. I really appreciate it. And um, it's going to be interesting because I think uh, on this documentary, I haven't seen it before. Uh, I just kept it um, to discover it with you guys. So, um, yes, I think in this documentary, we're going to see how Aurora dealt with her, uh, the beginning of her fame and what it changed in her life and maybe the, the, re the making of uh, uh, one of her albums. So it's going to be really interesting, I think. Uh, you will have the subtitles in English. Uh, it's embedded on the documentary. And uh, yes, uh, of course, if you want um, to see this documentary uh, outside this reaction, you will ha I will put the link. I will put the link in the description where you can download it or buy it or rent it. So uh, you are, will have all the information there. And uh, yes, I think it's going to be uh, really interesting to to know more about Aurora. Many of you uh, warriors and weirdos know a lot about, about her, much more than I do. So it's going to be really interesting for me. And uh, it's quite long because it's 74 minutes long. So I guess uh, I'm going to do that in two parts. So today it's going to be the first part of this documentary, Once Aurora. So yeah, I'm, I'm not going to talk that much and um, let's go and discover this beautiful documentary. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, on spots. Bonsoir, Ginger. No one, dagar, eller natter. So I feel like things have no meaning. There are times where I think it's really rare that such things can be kept. Such things can. Måte, du kanske tar något och har det för alltid för att du kommer till att få sinna och det kommer till att få sinna. Det är bäst med musik. Det kan det kanske dö. Sang, så är jag blivit lite mindre. Men då är det väldigt viktigt att man vet att det var värt det. Mm. 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 Mm.
because there's no music existing yet, I think it'd be good each day to create something in the morning together yeah. like this. Literally, got the laptop, get some beats going, get some, your vocals on the mic and create something and then we can build the framework. Yeah. We can record piano, we can record the other percussion and build it up. And we'll continue until we fall over. We will empty. Yeah, exactly. I have a new plan, by the way. Mm. The first song I want to begin with mm. is actually The Beauty in Forgotten Love. Cool. Should we give it a try? Mm. Okay. Can you tell if I'm cold? If I'm out of daydreams? If I lose what is love? Will a new love await me? So it sounds a bit. I by wonder. They need to be louder. When I'm blind in the dark. Just a minute, I would like to stop there. Um, first impression. Um, I didn't know that it was happening in Provence. In Provence, so that's where I live. So uh, really interesting. And um, second part, uh, I, I can see how I, I feel that, yes, she's discovering um, the kind of industrialization of, uh, of making music when you, you start to become more famous and uh, so you've got all those people working with you and uh, you you have you know things to achieve precisely and uh, you can see that she's she's kind of uh, that's how i feel she's kind of trying to to stay as free and as genuine and as you know spontaneous as she can while having to deal with all um the the requirements of this kind of work and uh, so um, it's it's like you know um, a, a child that you put in a class and you need to learn and you need to do the work even though you want you still want to be free and um, yes um, I think it's really interesting to 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 see how she deals with that and uh, but yes it was just my first thought and um, you know I, I won't do a lot of uh, interruption because I, I, a lot of pause pauses because I want people to just to to enjoy and to do it and want to enjoy the documentary too so uh, yes but that was my first thought and I think that we are on the turning point uh, where she will have to to deal with fame uh, we, we when they say please welcome all right it looks like it's an American late show or something like that so let's go on
mest rart ut. Ja, det var rart å slutte på skolen for å bli Aurora med store bokstaver. Stemmen er helt ok, men ikke av Lisa. Nei. Tenk om jeg slår oss hans uten salon. Du må jeg ikke synge. Vi er bare halvveis på denne. Det er bare sånn der. Se hvor mye vi har igjen. Hele den. Det er så ønsket sånn, da. Jeg har lyst til å legge igjen masse magisk her på jorden. Er vi ikke heldige, folkens? Heldige! Heldige! Er vi ikke heldige? Vi er heldige! Heldige! Og Martin og Magnus var jo de to som først møtte meg som artist. Og de begynte å spille med meg helt fra min første konsert. Jeg har aldri hatt veldig mange venner. Jeg husker det var første gangen siden jeg var liten, kanskje, at jeg tenkte at nå er jeg med i en gjeng. En mennegjeng. Selv om det er, i hvert fall for deg, veldig, veldig krevende av og til, så jeg tror ikke du kunne levd uten det heller. Nei, det er bra å... ...ha de rette menneskene rundt seg, tror jeg. Det er egentlig det det handler om. You can see that she has, she's struggling with that and she's not, she, I feel that she's not at ease with these, these things and uh, how she has to do and uh, because that's, it becomes a job and um, when she said at the beginning, um, every time I, uh, I, I create a song, I, I'm losing something from, from me. Uh, uh, on the uh, on the inside and um, yes you can feel that yes she uh, there's I, it's overwhelming I can feel that uh, I'm I'm an introvert and uh, I can feel how uh, overwhelming this would be just the changes and you know like she said being part of something of a band even though all those people are really I think uh, uh, thoughtful and kind and caring, but yes, she, she is really smart and she's amazingly clever and I'm pretty sure that she's processing everything, but yes, and she, she's not, you know, a victim, but um, yes, I, I'm, I'm feeling how difficult it must be there's to, to have to, to deal with that and with 200 uh, concerts in one year. This is crazy. Um, but let, let's go on.
Ja, nu sätter jag på hej, tala till mamma. Hej! Hej! I förgås så hade jag väldigt hemlängst. Men eh, idag så var det mycket bättre. Men det är på en god måte. Ja, det är på en god måte. Ja, så. Då får du ha stötta. Ja, jag har stötta. Jag har massor av fin stötta. Kan du också se mannen nu? Ja. Jag ska se på mannen och tänka på dig. Jeg trenger å sove med mye, og så trenger jeg ikke fly, jeg trenger å ligge egentlig. Så når jeg kommer hjem så skal jeg ligge. Such a powerful meaning there, and uh, I don't know if it's just you know coincidences or something like that. But yes, the the the, um, the director is just focusing on uh, the the back the the keyboard, and uh, yeah, you can see that yes, maybe she's got a lot saying. Okay, she's singing that differently, and it has a total different meaning today because you can see that she's exhausted. And uh, that's that's pretty weird because yes, she she uh, I don't think she's just a people pleaser and she's not doing this because she 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 just wants to sacrifice herself. But yes, she she loves doing that and she loves the connection with the the audience. I think and um, the fact that um, yes, it's a it's a, it's a balance you have you have to find between um, the joy and what your body can bear uh, and um, and the, the love you get from the audience and you know it's always a, a kind of fight and you know fight uh, between you you want to do it because you, you enjoy doing it and you need to do it and um, the fact that it's too difficult for you to bear and yes I can you can see that on her face because she and in her eyes and this is really yeah this is really painful to see Det føles rart å være så synlig. 
Jeg liker ikke å ha folk så innpå. Jeg liker ikke å klemme. Skal vi bare få deg ut og hjem og i seg? På et eller annet tidspunkt så må du hjem, for da tenker vi at det er lurt å gjøre noe. Ja. Sorry. Ja, men sånn... I'm gonna get you home. Til Norge. Jeg har på en måte lurt veldig lenge på om jeg egentlig vil bli artist. Det var på en måte bare noe som skjedde. Så la meg gjøre det rett. The way you got discovered, it's a bit special. A few years back, a friend of yours posted a song on Facebook without your permission. Yes. And it went viral. You literally dropped out of school and became a pop star overnight. Det er rart, egentlig, i år, 2016. Det har egentlig vært det vanskeligste året i mitt liv på en veldig lang stund. Jeg har lært litt på å finne ut hvorfor jeg fortsatt. Sannheten om meg er at jeg er veldig hjemmeskjær. Jeg er den yngste av tre søstre. Jeg har vokst opp sammen med hele familien min på et lilleske trange. Langt vekk fra byen, i skogen, ved fjorden. Og der stilheten er veldig høy. Jeg har reist inn, jeg var 17, og nå er jeg 20. Jeg Just, um, I, I...
totally relate with her when she said, yeah, I don't like, I don't, I don't like hugging. I don't like to be close to close to people. This is something when you, when you are like this, this is something really difficult to bear, even though you, you can do it. It's really difficult and it's painful sometimes. And yes, um, especially when she has this amount of people she needs to deal with. And uh, I, I'm so glad that uh, this guy, I don't know his name, but decided to send her back to Norway because she needed this. And you can see how peaceful she is now. And the fact that she has, she's feeling joy, just like singing like this, humming like she did, you know, doing her tea or I don't know what kind of, um, um, what kind of things she was prepare, preparing. But yes, the, the, you can see that she's at peace and she doesn't want to talk that much and she want, she's connecting with all the things she knows. And uh, yes, it was too fast. I think, uh, yes, that, that must be excruciating pain uh, to, to deal with, I think, for psychologically speaking and uh, physically too, but more psychologically speaking. So let's go on. I'm so glad she's back and Norway is so beautiful. Crazy. Ninety percent of all the debutants give us a one plate. Now we've made this. What is relevant with the music you have thought to do now? I look like an algebraal man. What do you? Do you know what an algebraal is? It's my new child. He is Igor Septimus, and he just lives in the sea. And he's just around. He can live for two hundred years. Men jeg lukte i hvert fall som han, fordi jeg har kost med han i dag tidlig. Fordi at du? Koste med han i dag tidlig. Ja, ja. Vi må gjøre det ferdig i 16 låter. Det er biplaten min, og jeg har et veldig komplisert forhold. Jeg pushet hun jo hardt på en del låter som jeg tenkte, dette trenger du å ha med på platen din. Og dette er deg, som du kanskje ikke er helt enig med meg i det, så jeg føler at dette er deg. Det negative om platen oppdaget ikke jeg før jeg begynte å lese intervjuer som hun gjorde. Og jeg tok det litt personlig i begynnelsen. Hun digget jo ikke å reise rundt og promotere Conqueror. Den låten ble navnet på det hun ikke likte med bransjen. Det var egentlig musikken. Det var det som var vondt. Men hvis jeg må gi ut musikk jeg ikke er fornøyd med igjen, så slutter jeg. Egentlig. Jeg er skikkelig tom. Jeg skulle egentlig være større i deg. Jeg orker. Det er deilig å bare sette og male litt. Men jeg har prøvd den, så jeg vet at den går over hodet ditt. Ja. Men jeg vet ikke om det funker, hvordan føles det? Da var jeg redd for at hun skulle bare slutte, eller være deprimert eller noe sånt. Men hun sa jo nesten det. Hvis hun ikke kan være meg, så... Hva er vitsen da? Altså, vi skiller mellom Aurora og Aurora med store bostader. Og du har vært på en måte aldri i familien, kan vi snakke om. Ja. Aurora med store bostader, ja. Det er artisten. Du har hørt hele livet at hun er 
moden falleren, mm. veldig smart, og går sin egne veier. Det skal mye til for å ikke ta det som et oppdrag i livet. Spesielt ikke hvis du begynner å bli kjent før du er 20. Nå skal jeg gjøre musikk. Og nå er jeg i studio for å skape. Det gir en helt ny mening. Og jeg forstår alt jeg skal. Jeg forstår min posisjon. Jeg forstår hvor ubetydelige smertene mine er av og til. Og da blir det mye enklere å takle. Du? Jeg trenger et piano i leiligheten. Jeg trenger et piano i leiligheten. Et piano? Ja. 20 000 maks. Ok. Deal. Så med klang på. Og litt åpnere. Er det mer åpen? Varme og åpen. Nei, jeg tror til andre veien på den var bedre. Hei, Digg. Sånn. Det var deilig. Første. The Queendom Come. Ah, that's a bit of a long pause. Yeah, we can try it. The Queendom Come. We can make a tie together. Do you know what it's like? It's like... It's something with the clang, I think. Oh! It's like a grøn. It's like a lot. It's like a lot, yeah. De kommer bare inn på andre delen. De kan være litt høyere. De var litt kule. Nice. Det er litt deg. Men man hører det ganske tydelig. Hva som skal til. Ikke sant? Ja. I går så satt jeg og tenkte sånn, hva har jeg ikke gjort i år? Og så tenkte jeg sånn at, åh, snart er jeg død. Det bare kommer en sånn følelse i kroppen og i hodet. Et eller annet jeg må skrive om, eller en melodi, så må jeg løpe til nærmeste piano eller skrive blokk. Det er veldig viktig at ordene kommer fra meg. Jeg perker på alt, egentlig. Hvordan alt skal være. Jeg har lyst til å være min egen idé om hva jeg er. Hva er jeg? Jeg er ikke imponert. Nå vet jeg. Ok. Jeg har bare liket hvordan disse dokumentene er gjort. Fordi på begynnelsen kan du se at... Det er alltid det som jeg sa her, det er alltid min oppfølgelse. Så kanskje jeg er feil, men... Det er derfor jeg føler at hun først kan se at hun er overvært, og at hun er kanskje overvært, og at hun er kanskje overvært having to deal with what's happening and then you can see here that 
you know, she's starting to put back to put everything in its place and uh, and uh, yes yeah, she's getting more power and she's um, yes yeah, she's getting more control and then she she's like how processing what's happening and just learn how to deal with that and i love that she's enjoying the 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 creativity process the creative process and uh in the studio and as she said she she wants to to control things and not to to have to you know to bear things and uh and to deal with things and this this is this is amazing the how fast she can uh change and learn yes she she she's definitely so smart <laughs> Det kan annars komma en lo igår. Jag tittar lite på mig inte. Nej. Har du det gått igår? Kan du det gå? Var lite ute i byn och så är stilla. Man träffar den som är gott. Ja. Så nu är jag i skottet nu. Jag ser ju på dig att du har gått av. Ja. Leva lite också. Ja. Men det blir det blir gøy å se nog. Ja. Det blir säkert. Så så det föll till så bara dappte lite. Ja. Det fallt lite istället för att det blev sån massivt rytmorkast som fortsatte, sant? Jag tror vi var med ha backentrassen lite högre. Det är er bara det som du tränger att dröja. Ja. Flott. Mhm. Har glömt nå. Vi ska vi ta uh, upp session med dessa här folk till. Och på tid får vi rum också. Den är älskad. Ta med dig de vassarna in när du ska in i nya sessioner. Som du digger. För den låten är inte färdig. Problemet här är att du manglar de radiolåtarna. Men tror kan du sin glas? Kan bli det, men den har allt för kort refräng och det är helt grusomt producerat. Poenget mitt är er att när du nu går ut så tränger du det gör ju om du lagar eh, flera alpelåtar för att plattan måste ha en annan dynamik. Ja, det var. Eh, men du letar att ha de låtarna som ska stå i vinduet, sant? Så var det en som tänker om det där. Det är er det jag tänker. Akkurat nu, en som Men han har ju lite om att när du går in i session så tar du väldigt kontroll. Du skriver låtar alene och så låter du andra få lov att producera lite, men det också vill du göra på nytt igen att ta på. Ja, jag är er väldigt jag jag är er väldigt vansklig och og... Det, det blir ju en kanske skriver med folk så väl det. It sounds like an orgasm, which is it should. It's our only goal. Find the sound of an orgasm. No, like a, like a kind of like a lightning or like sounds that kind of like a like an electric. Um, it could be cool if this if this can. Guys. Men när du skriver musik alene som säger tankar så suger man väldigt från sitt eget bröst och brukar väldigt mycket inspiration från sin egen värld, sitt eget univers. Problemet med det är er att man börjar och jämta sig själv. Okay, Fiona. Can you come here? Maybe it is. What's what's bugging you? I want it to be really interesting. Men kan en problem är att det är för lite tid. Problemet är att vi skulle slåpa ut nu nu. 
that's the problem. Or, or you know, when the, the, I, I understand that music is an industry, and then of course you've got to deal with, to play with the the rules, to play by the rules of this industry. But that's that's. That's a problem when I think when you're an, an artist, especially when you're like Aurora and um, you know having your own world and your own vision on what you want to say, what you want to convey, and how you want to do it. And uh, especially in this case, uh, she's take she's in at a stage where she's taking more control and she wants to not I, as I told before uh, not to to be you know to suffer, but she wants to take control and to do what she wants to do and the way she wants it to be done and uh, yes there you've got the, this industry pressure coming there and saying okay but we need a radio a radio hit uh, and I, I love how she's I love the contrast I don't know but when he says I, I, I fear that if you if you do everything on your own in your own world you may be repeating yourself and and you I, I think She's she's just at the beginning of her career and and she she has time before repeating herself. Uh, I think uh, yes, it can, when you've got when you make five, ten, twenty albums, maybe you can yeah uh, be you know uh, repeating yourself if you've got not new um, inspiration and new visions. But she's not just at the beginning of her career. This is insane. I think saying that, but yeah. I had a long conversation with, with Aurora this morning and this is the situation. She is writing all her tracks anyway. She's coming into the sessions with, you know, she's always bringing in 90% of the song. Forgotten Love and one more track I can't remember is potential radio songs. Aurora absolutely wants a radio song. I'll be like on her to do it. I'm here with my family and then I'll come back and sit down with my back lead man. Yeah, yeah. If you have me, so I'll be with you. No, it's fine. Jeg har aldri drømt om å synge. Men jeg har drømt om å gjøre noe viktig. Jeg kan bøtte det. Det er en sånn tørst inni kroppen. Hun hadde noen uker på seg til å gjøre ferdig tre låter. Hun ville gjøre det med Magnus. Det leverte de, og jeg personlig synes at det var veldig skuffende. Dårlig. Ja, nå skal vi snart begynne å spille en plate. Og så merket jeg at jeg kanskje ikke var en del av den planen lenger. Aurora har jo 
gått andra mer in i sin egen karriär och ta andra och fler avgörelser helt på egen hand. Hej, sorry, jag sen. Det var kommentarer från Decca som jag hade lust att vi skulle gå lite igenom. Jag har inte fått någon kommentar från Decca. Folk vill bara ha musik. Jag vill ja, bara ge ut musik. Det är smart i förhåll till att bygga en artistkarriär att det kommer mycket musik ut, men det verkligen fungerar inte. Okay. Do the gentle earthquakes. That's what as a mix again. I think this is all too mid low mid. Nej, nej. Det är akkurat den ska vara. Vad är det med engelska? Be brighter and tighter throughout. Nej, nej. Den är färdig. Den ska inte ha mindre low, low mid. Allt det så. Alltså nej, nej. Men vad säger du Magnus? Jo, du ser mot den där hänger i lag sånt. Ja, de to hänger. Från den till den till den till den. Så där kanske så var vi Ja, lite går fint. Men det är så dejligt. Men det är det de vill ha. Du vet ju vad de vill ha. She is all yours. Hva jeg sier at jeg må lære å slippe taket. Men jeg har ikke tenkt å slippe noe tak. Om noen ting, så holder jeg mer fast enn noensinne. Ok, så det er der jeg vil splitte dokumentaren, så det er begynnelsen av den første delen. Og ja... This is this is really really interesting and uh, but I, I, honestly I feel it really painful to 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 watch kind of because I can see how how it it must be difficult for her just to to grow really fast and to um, to deal with all those um, obligations and watch between what she want and and the struggle between what she wants to do. And uh, the the music is she doesn't she didn't want to, she, she told that she didn't want to be a singer she didn't want to be an artist she wanted to do, to do something important in her life, and yes in fact she's gifted she has so many talents and so many gifts and uh, we've seen how good she at drawing and painting and music and singing and writing. And so, yes, music is just a part of what she's doing the best. And I think that it, it, it's it's understandable just to, to have an artist wanted to do things the way uh, she wants it to, to do it. Especially when she's not, you know, um, craving for uh, being an artist and she's not uh, chasing fame. Uh, she, so kind of that's people from the industry will, will try to 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 make an artist from I, I didn't like this, this sentence to make an artist uh, because she is an artist and she, she, okay they wants to 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 give her a, a, a bigger uh, stage and a bigger voice a stronger voice all around the world but yes um, um, I, I was speaking with, uh, I was, you know, exchanging some some ideas with Fabrice and uh, about uh, how uh, you know some American singer were were doing covers from a song, and uh, I thought that it was good for her just to be maybe more recognized uh, as an artist internationally speaking, especially in the U.S. And uh, he told me that maybe, she, yeah, it was good, but maybe she that's what. That's what she was. The, ah, that's not what she wanted um, uh, to achieve. And uh, now it makes really, it really makes more sense to me uh, because yes, I can see how it, it's difficult. And uh, uh, I, I love, uh, I love how she stand up for his music, for her music, sorry, and for the way she wants it to be done. And uh, but maybe, maybe the. It's good to 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 you know to keep your position and to be strong, but yeah, maybe maybe she's gonna 
open up a bit and understand that you know, some some other advices could be interesting too i don't know because yes um it, it's difficult even the, the best you can it's interesting to have some point of views and to have some suggestions from people outside uh what you got in your in your mind because sometimes you know when you're too close to something you can have the big picture and maybe yes but uh i uh, i think she's right she she has her own view of her work and what she wants to convey and how she wants to convey it and um i can see i don't know the name of the guy you know from you know give her um, who, who who is the voice of deca the the record company but um yes uh they they're trying to put her in a box and she's not in that box she can fit in that box so uh, it's going to be really interesting to see how things going to uh, change after that so okay uh, i really enjoyed uh, this this first part of the documentary just let me know what you think about it i hope you enjoyed it too and if you have any comments just please be free to uh, put that in the on my channel and uh okay uh, i'm going to do the part the second part really fast and um as quick as i can and uh, of course if you want to see the documentary if you don't want to wait and you want to see the documentary on your, on your own please remember to um to check the the description below and you will have all the links where you can buy or rent this uh, this um, documentary so okay Thanks for following me once again. If you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to my channel, to click on the like button, and to share this channel to whoever may be interested into that. And I hope to talk to you soon, guys. Take care. Bye bye.